Yo, what's going on? Comic Guy Soundwaves here. So, for this video, um, I just want to show off some of the games and stuff that I picked up over the last several months. I did a video like this about five months ago or so, and uh, just kind of showed off some of the games that I got, like from GameStop with their deal. They still have that deal running here and there. So, I kind of just want to show off some of the things that I picked up over the last couple of months. This isn't like over the last month or the last month before that. Just, you know, kind of things that I picked up that I kind of want to talk about and what kind of deal that I got on it. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with just uh, older games and work down to the newer stuff. Uh, I got a other couple things that I'll show off at the, at the end, but all right, so let's just kick it off with a game that I got for the OG Xbox. I only got one, and that is Need for Speed Underground. Now, I found this mom and pop shop about 45 minutes away to an hour from me. Anyway, I just decided to drive out there one day with my kids and my wife, and I found this. I absolutely loved this game. I played the shit out of this one, and um, Underground 2. I really loved these games. After Underground 2, I kind of started to lose sight of the Need for Speed series, but this was like eight bucks and I really really just wanted to have this because I mean honestly I love this game I haven't put it in the Xbox yet, but this is one that I absolutely adore All right two games I picked up for the GameCube one is Wave Race Blue Storm. I actually found this at Goodwill. And Goodwill, when they have games or DVDs, they sell them off like $2.50. So I saw it and I was like, why the fuck not? I actually haven't put it in, but I love uh, Wave Race 64. So I haven't played this yet. I think my son put it in his Wii in his room, so he was playing on it. Maybe he liked it. I don't know. Uh, but if it's anything like Wave Race 64, it's probably fun as shit. Same thing, Goodwill, $2.50, Lord of the Rings. I'm not into Lord of the Rings at all. I don't, I've seen the movies once. That was enough for me. It's not my thing, but whatever, $2.50. I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. All right, now these are games that I got on the Xbox 360. Dante's Inferno. This game is so fucking good. It's actually free right now on um, Xbox Live. If you have Xbox Live and a 360, you can get this for free. I've had debates going back and forth if God of War or this is a superior game, and every time I go to really think about it or have a conversation about it, this ends up being number one. I absolutely love this game. Back when Verso, Verso games uh, that made Dead Space and stuff, man, this game is so fucking good. So fucking good. Uh, if you haven't played it, like I said, if you have Xbox Live, it's free. Uh, you can probably find it for about 8 or $10 on eBay. If you've never played this, I highly suggest it. It's on PS3 as well. This game is so good. It's, I, in my opinion, better than the God of War games, hands down. Gruesome, gory, action-paced, uh, just like you know God of War and stuff like that. It's so good. If you haven't played this, you definitely need to. I had to put this back in my collection. I had it at some point. Don't remember what happened to it, but I love this game. Army of Two, I never played this game, and I know it's been floating around for a long time, and it plays on Xbox One, apparently, so whatever. Uh, I guess I'll play it on Xbox One. I heard it was really super short, but the first one I heard was actually pretty decent, and then they just went to trash after that. But this first one I've never played, and never played any of them, so I thought I'd just start off with this and try it out at some point. And they also had this one, which I think there's three of them, I think. I think there's Army of Two something, and then Army of Two, the Devil's Cartel. I don't know. I know one of these is supposed to be complete ass and trash. But nonetheless, uh, for a few bucks, I thought I'd try it out. But I'm really looking forward to playing that first one. Uh, pick this up for the kids. It's the Lego movie video game. I don't know. I've never played a Lego video game. I've heard they're actually pretty fun, so uh, we'll see with this one. Uh, but I actually heard a lot of the Lego games are really, really good and actually pretty funny, so uh, maybe I'll be surprised with this. I've seen this floating around on eBay for a while, and I don't know why. I just feel like it's going to be stupid, uh, terrible first-person shooter with sci-fi shit in it. I like that stuff, so I actually uh, really liked uh, Alien Space Marines, um, and this kind of feels like it's going to be some, some of the same shit, uh, but I like stuff like that. I like corny shit, cheesy shit, um, and sci-fi stuff with shooting aliens and stuff, so this seems like it might be like right up my alley. Uh, probably everybody else might think that it's terrible and trash, but I'd probably find some fun in this whenever I get around to playing it. Resident Evil <sighs> Operation Raccoon City. There's a story with this one. The first time that I tried to buy this game and play it, I tried to buy it on Steam. I could not get it to work on Steam. I got it refunded on Steam. Um, and then I went back and forth with this game, and I know when it came out, it got terrible reviews, but I'm really a big, huge fan of Resident Evil, so I really want to play it. So I got it. I haven't had a chance to play it, because, Jesus, there's just so many games that came out this last couple of months that... It's taking up all my time, but I really want to get around to playing this. I have a huge fan of, I've already said I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil. So I want to play this just for like the lore and the story and all that stuff. 
It's probably terrible, corny, and cheesy, which is Resident Evil, which should be. Uh, I heard the gameplay is pretty trash, uh, but nonetheless, I still want to play it just because. So hopefully I get around to doing that pretty soon. Max Payne, Max Payne 3. I have never played a Max Payne game. I know, I know, probably blasphemy. I've never played a Max Payne game. Um, I'm going to start with this one. This one's still brand new sealed. This was actually a game that I got like from Toys R Us. Uh, I think I went to Toys R Us like the day before the last day they closed, and I got this for like three or four dollars, brand new, and I was like, whatever. I got this in it, and then the kids have a few toys and stuff like that. But um, I haven't gotten around to playing this. I heard this one was actually really, really good, so hopefully I get a chance to play this at some point uh, with all these games I'm, I'm hoping to get around to at some point or time in my life uh, but I, I've never played a Max Payne game and I've always wanted to uh, and I kind of just feel like 1 and 2 uh, might be a little outdated for me so I thought I'd jump into this and see what this is about so hopefully we'll give this a roll soon alright jumping over to the Wii U games that I have Bayonetta. Now, I played the first Bayonetta on um, PC on Steam and I absolutely loved it. So apparently Bayonetta 2, I had to get this in some way, shape, or form. And basically you can get it on the Wii U or the Switch. So I went the Wii U route because I'm completely content with that. This also has Bayonetta 1 in it as well. So it has Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1, which is cool. Um, but I really like the first one. It's basically Devil May Cry with a chick. Uh, that's essentially what it is, and I love Double May Cry games. I love those beat em up, slash em up, hack em up, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I love those games, and I, I'm, I love the first one, so I can't wait to get around playing the second one of this. I just haven't found find, you know, a lot of time to play all the older games. I've just been playing a lot of the new stuff that's come out, but I can't wait to get to this one because I love the first one. I'm glad to finally have this. Watch Dogs, it was, you know, GameStop's four for fucking whatever, so uh, this was in four of those for whatever. Uh, my son wanted to play it, so whatever, I picked it up for him. So he hasn't played it as far as I know, but this was kind of for him, for him to play. This is the uh, Steam Dig, Dig Steam, Steam Dig, some shit, I don't know. I had the first one of these, um, Steam World, high Steam World Dig, I don't know, it was one of these, the first, whenever the, whichever the first one was, I had it on my PS Vita, and I played a lot of it, it's really cool, you like dig down in this world and basically you just you can make your own map digging down in this world and you can miss shit if you dig too far or whatnot uh, but it has two of them and he wanted this one as well so this is kind of for him i played the first one that was enough for me not really looking to see what the second one had to offer i was pretty content with the time that i spent on the first one bullet storm this is still in plastic target was getting rid of this for nine bucks actually this is one of the free games for the month on playstation right now um, I knew this game came out a while ago, and this is kind of the remastered edition. It looks really like a lot of mindless, brainless shooting fun, so it might be right up my alley. Uh, I haven't had a time to play it. I actually downloaded this on PS4 as well, just because it was free. So um, at some point, I'm either going to play it on PS4, probably PS4, because I spend most of my time on there. But I picked this up for 10 bucks because it was just sitting there, and I was like, why the hell not? Uh, but I heard it was, uh, you know, actually not too bad, so hopefully I'll get some time to play on this, but it probably won't be on the Xbox One. It will be on the PS4. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I played the first one and I fucking hated it. Um, I didn't hate it, but I got to a point in the game that was so difficult and I could not figure out what to do. I stopped. Um, but I really loved the concept of the game of running into the cities and all that, like jumping over buildings. I thought that was fucking brilliant. I loved it. I thought it was very, very, very cool. But I got to some point in the game and I cannot remember what it was or what exactly would stop me from playing it, but I stopped playing it. Uh, but I always want to try this one out. Um, it, you know, it's it's so cheap nowadays here and there. This is one of those, you know, four for five dollars things at GameStop. So that was something I needed to fill in. And I never played this one, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a whirl at some point. Raid World War Two. Uh, this is made from the creators of Payday, Payday Two. Um, I never played that game, uh, but this essentially is like a four-player co-op thing. That's kind of like I guess Left 4 Dead, where you tackle. Uh, World War II scenarios and take bases or something like that. I thought that idea was kind of cool, but this was like $4.54 at Target. Uh, I guess they were just getting rid of stuff in their inventory. I've seen this game still for like $30 in some other places. So nonetheless, I thought I'd just pick it up and give it a roll at some point. Might do a review on this because I heard that it's pretty bad. And I don't want to do a review on it for that. Just honestly, I really like co-op shooting, like Left 4 Dead type games, um, which I picked up another game that's like that. 
um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But this one right here, um, I'll, I'm definitely kind of actually wanting to put this in and play it probably more than any of these just for the same amount of reason. Definitely something I'll spend less than probably an hour or two with, but for $4.54, I thought I'd just give, give it a try. Red Out, I, I don't know what the hell this is, but it's apparently a racing game, kind of like F-Zero or something other. Uh, never heard of it, but anyway, long story short, I watched a couple of reviews on it after I picked it up to see what it was. I actually heard that it was kind of fun, so... Maybe something I'll play around with for a little bit, but for $3.04, uh, I couldn't pass that up. And Final Fantasy 15. I've been wanting this game for quite some time. I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy series to a degree. It, it's very iffy. I really love 7. I never found another really Final Fantasy game that I connected with, but I did fall in love with 10. And so, anyway, I never played a Final Fantasy game that was, like, not turn-based. Um, I do have Final Fantasy 13. I kind of wanted to play that one before I played this one. I still haven't played Final Fantasy 13. I have that on PS3. But I did want to get this one. I might even just actually skip over 13 because of all the negative stuff I heard. I actually heard this was a lot of fun, so I am going to give this a try, uh, hopefully uh, by the uh, middle of next year, but I've really been wanting to play this for quite some time. All right, moving on to PS4. So I just did a video about this game. This is Fallout 76. I really, really like this game, and I know a lot of people are giving it a lot of flack, and I kind of see why. It's, it's a change, and you know a lot of people don't look online, but this is Fallout 4 online. And that's the best way I can put it. You can play the single player. You can play with friends. I've done most of my time single player. I've played with one other person for a short period of time. Either way that I play this, it's a Fallout game in my opinion. And I'm having a lot of fun playing it. This is the, uh, the GameStop edition. This was like 80 bucks compared to 60 because you get like some you know, extra perks in there. And I knew that I was going to play this because regardless if it was good, bad, or ugly, I'm a Fallout fan and I was going to play it. Regardless of the glitches, regardless of how bad reviews are, um, I put that shit to the side and I don't let, you know, let those things take part of like what, how I experience the game. This game is actually, I think, a lot of fun and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. But this was a game that I had to get day one um, and I'm actually really enjoying this and actually it's pretty much eaten up all of my day today. I've pretty much been playing this pretty much all day today. And uh, I look forward to playing it any other time I get throughout the week to continue. The big one. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. And I say big one for everyone except for me. Now, uh, funny enough, this game right here is getting a lot of flack. And everyone hates it. But I love it. And everyone loves this. And I'm not so much of a huge fan of it. It's uh, I've played a few hours of it. Um, I just feel like right now it's not for me. It's just like I've got other things that I want to play, which is Fallout 76. I spent about two hours with this, and unfortunately when this came out, there was a lot of shit going on with work and what have you. So I haven't had a lot of ton of time to play games until now, and 76 is out, so that's where my more my priorities are going. But this game, I can see why people love it. I like, I mean, the only thing I will say about it, the only time that I spent with it is, man, it's it's a damn movie. It's, it's more of a movie than a game, and I heard after the few hours, that that changes and then it opens up but you know nonetheless i do plan on finishing this and only the main story i'm going to skip all the side quests and whatever thing i can do to go straight through the main story of this because uh, i don't want to get this left behind i mean i paid full price for this so i definitely want to play it i definitely want to enjoy it and say that i have this under under my belt because i've never played one of these red dead redemption games and i kind of wanted to start with this one because everyone was raving about it and then maybe try out the other ones on xbox 360 and stuff which i believe plays on xbox one but this game i'm, I'm definitely going to get around to it i promise it's just it's I don't know when. Uh, maybe around Christmas time and I have a few more days off and stuff like that. But um, it's funny enough, like I said, game that everyone hates I love, game that everyone uh, loves I'm not liking so much. Maybe I'm weird. But nonetheless, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, I bought a Call of Duty game and it's actually not fucking bad at all. i uh, actually been playing a lot of it. Dude, I am not a Call of Duty guy in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but this game has been a lot of fun. You know, they did not put any, you know, focus onto a single player narrative, which, I mean, it makes sense in my opinion. Some people are like, there's no single player, I'm out. Understood. My thing is like, 89, 92% of people bought a Call of Duty game for it to be the multiplayer, the zombies, uh, what have you. And this having like a, a Fortnite battle royale mode, if you will. Um, so you basically essentially have three modes, which is multiplayer, which has a ton of different modes. And all of them that I play are 
really fun and there's different classes with different uh, abilities and stuff like that which makes it you know really really fun and uh, i'm a huge fan, a huge fan of overwatch so like that kind of like plays into like my liking of overwatch of picking your class and getting good with them and using the special and stuff like that the blackout mode which is the uh, battle royale mode is a lot of fun i think you know we can all shit on battle royale modes all we want to but battle royale modes i mean honestly at the end of the day anyone that i've played is it's got some kind of enjoyment to it i love battle royale modes for like when i'm by myself and i get those butterflies in my tummy when i'm by myself wondering if someone's around that corner when i play solos or um i played this with a buddy uh, his name is down phoenix and we played um together uh with the the blackout mode it was cool like us just like going around uh, you know traversing the world and stuff like that and watching each other's back that's a lot of fun uh, and the other big mode on here other than the multiplayer and the the uh, battle royale mode is zombies and zombies is a lot of damn fun i've only played that solo but three modes and every last one of them are good there's like i said there's no single player there's those three aspects and both of them are really really well really really well done so um i can't believe i bought a call of duty game but at the same time i'm not alone on the way i'm feeling about this everyone's kind of liking this one so uh this one's very very good i really wish i, I could have waited till black friday because it's already on a sale but i really wanted to play it and jump on it so i did but i'm glad i picked it up i really like this one a game that I think most of us were waiting for, um, but Spider-Man. Um, I played the story. I'm all. I'm very close to 100% in it, and I loved it. I absolutely love this game. I was up to like 4 a.m. every morning playing it. Uh, for the week that it came out. I just bought the first DLC that came with it, but I haven't had a chance to get around to it, you know, work life and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I did finish this game and I absolutely love it. I'm a huge, huge Spider-Man fan and rest in peace, you know, Stan Lee, but I really like this game. Uh, Black Friday, uh, if you could pick this up uh, for, you know, 30, 35 bucks, 40, I would even say it's it's worth it. It's worth every penny. Um, you know, even if you're not a Spider-Man fan, understood. Even if you're not a comic book fan, understood. Even if you're not a superhero game kind of person, understood. At the end of the day, this is still a fun, uh, just fun video game. That's the best way I can put it. Um, it probably won't be for everybody, but I mean, if you, I mean, honestly, it's not lengthy. It's I feel like it's the right amount of time to complete the campaign. It's got a great story, great narrative. Uh, it's got RPG elements, so it's. Kind Kind of got something for everyone beat them up etc etc this game is really really great very 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 well done and i've had a blast playing it uh so i can't wait to get playing that dlc whenever i find some time for that but spider-man ps4 awesome street fighter collection uh 30th anniversary collection i've been playing this with a buddy bmg and cyber and uh tylord we played one night together uh this game is really really great i'm a huge third strike fan absolutely like this game a huge street fighter fan um pick this up for one one reason only be able to play all the street fighter games in one go with your friends great for that fantastic and still 30 bucks but if this comes down to 20 this is a must buy for any fighting game fan of street fighter i mean you know i mean it's it's just great you know if you're not a fighting game guy and you don't like street fighter or whatever what have you but it's got all the street fighter games in here and it, to play them online with your buddies and play them online with other people fantastic i will say that when it was released it was pretty shitty with the online but they have addressed that as far as i'm concerned everything seems to be working tip top at this point so right now is a good time to get it especially because it's should be going on sale on black friday sega genesis collection got this when it came out um played this uh, online one night with a buddy but apparently pretty, pretty much it's a, all the, a lot of you know these rehashes of sega genesis games but the big selling point of this for me was that you could play online with other people uh the time that i spent playing online with uh, a buddy of mine it was pretty shitty with the online so i can't really justify it there i haven't gone back to see if that's been fixed uh but i've held on to this copy you know because i never know when i want to go back and play some sega genesis uh stuff you know with a buddy or whatnot um uh, or just go back and play it by myself this was i feel like it was worth the price of admission i feel like i had the fun uh, some fun time with it when i first picked it up uh but for the most part i haven't really touched it since then so that's pretty much all the games um i got a few other things that i picked up before I move on to the other stuff, though, I did pick up some games because, you know, I'm all about that digital life as well. So here's a few games that I picked up digitally that I do want to talk about. I picked up the Bioshock Remastered Edition on Steam. It was like $10 or $12 for all three Bioshock games, for the original and the remastered. 
I couldn't pass that up. Huge fan of the Bioshock games, and to have them all in one place on my PC to play them whenever I want to, uh, I absolutely had to jump on that. I got Fear 3 as well. I really like the first Fear game and, the fir and Fear 2, and for some reason, Fear 3 just didn't happen for me. I knew that it was there, I knew it existed, but for some reason, I didn't jump on it, but it was a really good sell on Steam. Super, super cheap, so I jumped on that and picked that up as well. Haven't played it yet, but I can't wait to. Shadow of War, the Lord of Rings game. Um, I played the first one, but I got so crazy wrapped up into it, and I don't know what I did wrong, but like I could not figure out how the orc system worked, and I got just like raped every time I went into battle. Um, so hopefully I want to retackle that game on the or the new one, and hopefully I'll know what I'm doing this time. But I screwed up the first one royally, so hopefully I can play this one and not screw it up. But I can really look forward because I really liked the first one, but it got too frustrating to play because I just royally screwed myself somewhere in there, and I would have had to start all over, and I wasn't looking to do that at the time. On PS4, I actually got uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I actually really, really like this game. I played it. Then I kept playing it, then I couldn't stop playing it. There's so many modes to play on it, and it's actually really fun. Uh, the campaign is pretty damn decent. The uh, actual, like online, there's so many different modes with like aerial battles, uh, with like defend this place, just for straight up death matches, for objective based games. Um, it's fun. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Now, I know that game got shitted on all over the place because of loot boxes and what have you, but at the end of the day, that game is really, really fun, and I can't recommend it enough. If you haven't played Star Wars Battlefront 2 yet, it's like floating around for like 7 or $8 all over the place. You really need to pick it up and play it. Trust me, it's a hell of a lot of fun. I picked up another game called Earthfall. Um, so it advertised itself as like a Left 4 Dead was aliens. Stay away from this game. It is complete ass. It is complete trash. It's not Left 4 Dead. It is not Left 4 Dead's retarded cousin. It is nothing. It is just complete garbage. This game is not worth anybody's time, and it's not worth the price at all i tried it for an hour and a half maybe two and no matter what i did it was it was it's terrible it's flat out terrible no redeeming quality to this game whatsoever so i picked up this game called colat it's also like a horror game like a walking sim whatever what have you but i've been wanting to play it and it's floating around all the time but i found it for like five bucks finally um on ps4 so i said fuck it i'll jump on that so i might do a playthrough of that game because it's super short it's supposed to be super scary so look out for that so i picked up two controllers in the last five months the first one is i picked up this uh xbox one sergeant lock controller now there's two of these that when halo 5 came out there's the master chief and the sergeant lock one um i would love to have the master chief one but i was just in that same mom and pop shop i told you a little while ago uh and this one's sitting in there and it has like the you know like the the, uh, the headphone jack and every stuff integrated to it so i thought this was a 1s controller and my idea was to use it specifically for my pc because the 1s controllers have bluetooth this is just it's not a 1s it's not an x it's it's just the updated version of the original one so i thought it would have bluetooth and it didn't uh so my idea was to use this for my pc and my pc only so i ended up buying a dangle thing and putting that into my pc but essentially this is sits on my desk so if i'm playing mouse and keyboard or if i'm playing a game on steam that doesn't uh necessarily work very well with a mouse and keyboard i can just snag this off my desk and play games with it uh but really you know for the most part i feel like it's actually better than the xbox or the original xbox one controller i feel like the original one like when you press down on the triggers right here they would kind of like cut into your fingers this one doesn't necessarily do that that much it feels a lot more smoother and rounded in the edges uh but i think it looks super cool but i would have loved to have that master chief one uh but this one is also it looks very very cool it's got like UNSC and like all kinds of like Halo 5 stickers and uh, from the army, different things and stuff on it. So anyway, it's a pretty cool controller. I like the way, I like the aesthetics of it. Very, very cool. So I had to end up buying another PS4 controller. Um, so the first controller that I had was the all black one that came with my original black PS4. And I play a lot of PS4, a lot. So I played so much, the rubber on the stick started to come up. And I kind of fixed it for the most part by putting super glue up under it and laying the rubber back down on it. So it still works and all the buttons are very clicky and it works pretty well well uh, but the rubber on it just feels kind of rough because I had to kind of doctor it up so I ended up getting another PS4 controller which was a blue one and once again like I said I play the hell out of PS4 um, and what happened is the um, L3 um, when you go to click the button you click down to like run in most FPS games because I play a lot of Destiny a lot of FPS on PS4 um, it started being very iffy and it wasn't reliable I would run and it would stop and it would run and then it would stop 
uh, there, there's barely a, an easy fix for it, but you have to take apart the controller, and I just wasn't looking to do that at the point, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to invest in another controller. I was very close to getting a scuff controller, but I was talked out of it, and I watched too many videos on how terrible they are. So nonetheless, I just ended up picking up another random old uh, run-of-the-mill PS4 controller. This is a red one, because uh, I had a black one, a blue one, so I thought I'd get a red one this time, but uh, just no, standard PS4 controller, but you know, it's nothing like a brand new PS4 controller with all the grip and stuff on it. It feels so good. It feels so good. Um, anyway, PS4 controller. So the last two things I'm going to talk about are two things that I've actually made full on videos about, but I kind of want to talk about them since I have picked them up in that time and I kind of want to talk about how I'm using them now. Uh, the one is the PS Vita. Uh, this was a gift from my wife and you know, I had one of these originally and it got stolen. It's a very long story, but I always really wanted to reacquire one of these. But now that I've actually had one now, when I originally had my first one, we I didn't have a game room like how I have now. So a lot of times if I wanted to play games, you know, my consoles were in my living room. So the kids were watching TV or they were playing their games or my wife wanted to be in there. Um, I had to find alternative ways to play video games. So I would play a lot of PS Vita and it was fan fabulous for that. But now that I kind of have my own game room and all these things at my disposable, this is one of the lesser things that I, I've been playing with. Now I do love this thing if I got a like run and go take a, a doo-doo or a shit, you know? Uh, it's fun to sit on the toilet and play games. Um, and you know, if it's really streamed very well with the PS4, you know, it doesn't work very long range, but if I can get it to like stream over to my couch and stuff like that, I'd be probably playing this all over the house. But it doesn't work like that, but I haven't been playing a ton of it. I haven't actually even picked up any games for it. I was able to re-download all the games that I had on my first one. So I did play a few few of the games that I originally played or um, went through and played some of those. But for the most part, I'm not playing it as much as I, I really anticipated that I would, but I still absolutely love this thing. It's great. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just awesome. It's just that, you know, honestly, I have so many other things that I'm playing. It's hard to focus on this thing, but it is a great, great portable system. Don't let anybody tell you any different i've never met a person who never owned a vita and hated a vita these things are fantastic last thing i want to talk about is this nes classic now i did pick this up and i made a whole full-on video on this you know when i first got this thing um there's some relevance to this with the ps1 classic and you know the snes classic you know for me nes was a really big deal in my childhood so i really wanted this you know and when the thing finally was really honestly when the thing was announced a long 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 time ago before it was re-released i really didn't give a shit about it i was like whatever if if I find one, I'll pick it up. And then the whole big deal debacle with them not being able to have enough and they weren't releasing enough and et cetera, et cetera. It kind of made me want one. But then they went the way of the dinosaur for a while and they resurfaced. So I picked up one. I have not played this thing at all. It, you know, honestly, I'm just not, you know, I love my retro games back when I was younger. And I don't know how that comes off or how it wants to sound, but honestly, I'm just not that guy. I love to play all the newer games and the things that are coming out. Um, it's fun to go back and tinker with some of those stuff if you're bored playing around, uh, but I'm not a huge fan of like playing retro games and stuff like that. But this thing, honestly, it's it's such such a novelty item. It is set right by my TV for a display, and that's kind of what I thought about doing it when I first got it in the first place. But to be honest with you, I haven't touched this thing. I haven't really played it at all. The box looks cool. I can definitely say that. It looks cool next to my TV. That's pretty much all I got going for this thing. So anyway, that's the things that I picked up over the last uh, couple of months. There's some more stuff in there but i'm not going to go into too many games i picked up a lot quite a bit of other things as far as digital but nothing really exciting that i really have a lot on so anyways this is coming to you soundways hope you all enjoyed this thanks for watching much obliged and i'll see you over the next one later